this beyond these doors this has been on the list for years and we're finally gonna tick it off good morning where am I? <laughs> World War 2 <laughs> get me out of this nylon sarcophagus <laughs> I'll tell you what, at last night, I thought like a million bugs were crawling all over my face. So, John. What's the story, Morning Glory? What is the story? In the next half an hour, I want to be back over to the van. The boat blown up. The life jacket is on. And ready to go. So, this is the morning where it all begins again. I just looked like a baby last night. Don't know what everyone's complaining about, but I can just see it in the mist. So we've got like two hours before um, full high tide. <coughs> the idea is, is I try and set off like around five-ish. <coughs> and then get to the get to the fort around like 20 past five, something like that. It hurts my fingers. What, the cloth? The cloth and soft fabric hurts soft. your fingers. I can't be asked carrying all this stuff back through the jungle maze from hell. So we're just going to throw it off. It's broken. You've taught the bag. Quite a long way down actually. Oh, that broke as well. <laughs> Why don't they make the bags a bit bigger? And let's set sail. So, as far as the checklist goes, we've escaped the fort. We now just need to get the boat erected. We get the boat ready. I'll fill your brain with a little bit of knowledge about this place. The fort in question is called Stack Rock Fort, which, in my personal opinion, is a very cool name. It's a tiny island, it's in Milford Haven. It was a free gun fort built between 1850 and 1852 after it got decommissioned in the 1930s, Lloydie. Yeah. It got put up for sale. And guess how much it sold for? Five pounds. 160 quid. 160 quid? <laughs> so it basically got sold for the equivalent of a doll check. Same mum's shopping cost more than that. The abandoned island that was sold for less than a PS5. <laughs> it was then um, put over sale again in 2005. It sold again for 150,000, which is still a steal, really. And then it was sold again in January 21 for 191,000. It's way faster than I can remember. It's in that. Yeah. Oh shit. shit. I'll watch. Ow, 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 ow. Push the way. I've seen it. How are we, we gonna do to... this? We can't we can't really tie. Are we alright there? Yeah, I think we're alright. Alright. So I've seen plenty of videos on this place. This that main entrance 
was my main concern, not being able to get in. It's called Crack Rock 4. Are you ready? Do it. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, shit. People have been camping here. Got a full setup. Someone brought an entire barbecue. Oh my god. It's just like deal last night. Wow, I like the little footstool. I like it how we inside a fort and we got about the camping gear. Do you know what's really funny? Well, last night we slept in squalor. We could have just come out here and everything's here for us. And it's very loud. Have you upset all the birds? These are like IKEA chairs. This place is incredible. You know what's actually, you know what I'm thinking? What? I'm thinking that the people who have actually camped here yeah. have just camped here and left all their shit. It's not like a. Oh my god, who the flipping heck has brought that? What the hell? Someone brought a bloody <laughs> chimney here? <laughs> I don't think people have just left the stuff here. I reckon it's the people that own it. I don't. Like coming and like doing little bits of work I don't. on it. I reckon they're sick of people like us. Let's go have a look around then, come on. How cool is this place, honestly? How cool is this place? Should we get to the top? Just touching that to the peak of your hat. Hands free, baby. This is very similar in layout, like to the fort on land. There's ladders there, so I'm guessing there's some there's steps here, but going down. Oh, there's steps up here. It's like a castle's... Ca they go, yeah, they go down. Oh, they got a down as well. Got a down? Oh, goes right to the top. Cool. So apparently... <laughs> apparently the original cannons are still here. <laughs> what do you watch when I walk? <laughs> it bounces like mad. It's like our POV, but you're a bit drunk. Look at this. That's so cool. I'm guessing the cannon deck's down there. Hands down, best fort I've ever been to. I haven't even walked around it all yet. Do you reckon, you know, because that beer cannon, air rifle holes in it, do you reckon people have been shooting at the seagulls? Well, potentially. I would. No, you buggers out. Whoa. <laughs> They're all talking to each other and saying, let's kill the humans. Obviously. Oh, they really don't like that we're here. Have you seen them like down there? It's had loads of stuff added on it. See, it looks so bodged. Not well, bodged in that way. You see like, that? That tower? Yeah. That's the original, original. Oh, and then they built out. So, like, there's this tower here, which has this, like, little out building thing. So that was the first fort. Yeah, then they added these outer walls. And then they're like... They probably they might have added like all this brickwork doing all that concrete up there. That looks like World War Two. So it's well, been it, expanded. It was originally over the built years. in 1807, right? Oh, I'm that. sure it said that on the outside. It began with a one and an eight. It was basically built um, during there was this prime minister called uh, Lord Palmerston, and he was like the cheese, like. The yeah, Lord Parmesan. Yeah. And he was basically like paranoid about the French invades. So he built like because loads they, of forts. Because he thought that they were after him for his cheese secrets. No, because he was a massive xenophobe. No. What's a xenophobe? When he's scared of zebras. What is a xenophobe? It's that, when he's scared of zebras. No, it's not. He thought the French were zebras. <laughs> oh, because of the mimes? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Hated them. Do you like this safety feature? I do, do you like this safety feature onto an old rusty. I'd trust that with my life. Are we going up? Are you coming up? Yeah, I, guess I don't like it, but I'll come up. What do you like? There's bees out here. Bees? So does that mean there's a bees nest on this island? How do you know there's bees? I've just seen them getting pollen. Oh, right, sorry. I thought you found a nest. No, no. I don't know who gave it the nickname the Citadel at Sea. Um, I first heard it on a Exploring the Unbeaten Path video, but it's very cool. And it'll bottle it when you go close. I'd be like here all the time if I owned this. Where's the beast? Yeah, I would. If you owned it, you'd only be out here among this racket and this stench. Well, no, I'd kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> Just a quick question for everyone. 
ev everyone around the world watching this video. Um, has anyone tried seagull? Have anyone tried to eat seagull before? And what does it taste like? Answers in the comments. Oh my god, have you seen that seagull? It's a robot. Jack, should we go to the middle bit? Yeah, we'll yeah. do that last. Uh, well, do you want to find the cannons? Yeah, sure. All right, we'll do it. I don't know where they are. We'll We've been to some cool forts. I think this is going to be the year of the fort. I hate ladders. Ow! If you look, that handle is attached to this, which is attached to this rope, which is attached to the wall, so oh, it's perfectly safe. Oh, I forgot safe. about the safety rope. So, perfectly safe. It. It's dark too. Oh. It's not as dark as it seems. Oh, shit. What's that? Oh, is that like a furnace? That's it, isn't it? Adams and Son Engineers London. Every window has a cool view. This has got to be some kind of furnace, yeah, hasn't it? Look, furnace or ovens. Is, all, is this a kitchen? Maybe, yeah. Might be. They kind of do look like ovens. Oh, I can't see. They kind of do look like ovens, don't they? This must be the mess. Well, look, that's the... That's the, they're the bricks that like withhold heat. Uh, yeah, so like, like they'll ch furniture. shoved coal and stuff in. Yeah, it's definitely though, isn't it? And then cut from the top. can tell. Mm. Yeah. Okay. This must be one of the most untouched forts we've been to. Because look, you've got the original floors, which is very unusual. Yeah, I was saying a while, but, how have the wooden floors survived? But even little bits of glass, which normally all this is gone. Yeah, yeah it's missing. So that's part of the original fort. Yeah. Do you know what's crazy? Like, that is what? Like, nearly 200 years old? Yeah. It's like, probably like 170, something like that. And, apart from the moss and stuff growing on it, it's like pristine. It wouldn't take much to tidy that up. You just need no. new windows, basically. I've seen new build houses that look worse than that. Yeah, Do you know what? Watch. There's not a lot of like, I know it looks scabby, but we've been in warehouses and stuff. Yeah. In the, I don't know, 70s, 80s, the little leak. Worse. I would say there's like no evidence of leaks. Well, you've got subtitles for the seagulls. Whoa, look at the moss going on those walls. Oh, it's, that is neon green. It is neon green. That's, oh, look at them bugs. Oh, there's loads. Oh, it, there's some more to the right as well. What they keep corn in here. Oh my God, that might be why they're here. Is that an earwig? If it is, why is it here? Because earwigs live in, in corn, wheat, should I say. Were these like granary stores? And for hundreds of years, the earwigs have just bred food for thought. But that would be pretty cool if that was a story. There's no in here. Not in there. That green is so weird. That is weird, isn't it? It's like spray paint, not, not moss. Algae moss. Mm. Tired? Tired. Anybody who think you got up at 4am? Went to sleep at 1am. I can see a cannon hole. Where a cannon would have been. Oh my god, that scared the living shit out of me. Oh, baby, baby seagull. It's okay. You're alright. It's okay. It's baby. okay, baby seagull. Are you okay? Imagine this, right? You sat out here, there's a cannon here, mm. looking out that window. All of a sudden, through the fog comes a massive ship. It's like a lost life. I thought it was a rabbit at first. Like, what the hell's a rabbit doing out here? I'd love to bring like a handful of rabbits and just leave them here. <laughs> So you see these, I'm not quite sure what these are called, but there's one on each side, and then the cannon would have been in the middle on... That, that's a chair, you sit on it. Nice. This would have been where the cannon sat, on a, like a pivot that moved. And then it would have been, I'm guessing, attached to these, so the force of when they shot it didn't fly back there. What? Mm. Oh, oh is, that? is that a cannon? That's massive. Are they like the biggest cannons in the world? 
We've never seen a cannon that would go into a fall. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That oh. is massive! The ends fell off. How cool Jesus! Is that? that is way bigger than I was expecting. Thanks, Lady. <laughs> well, that's not very well made, is it? That's what when you think about it, right? When you think about it, a cannon, a cannon's really just like a very simple, in, in theory, like a tube, gunpowder, ball, fire. So this back section and the thickness and the size of it is literally to contain the explosion. Um, so think, what were the how, cannonballs made of? Just solid. That's solid iron, iron usually, aren't they? Are they made of lead? Yeah. Oh. Is that so, as well as blow them up, you poison them too? Or you could get ones with chains on, they were my favourite. Like two cannonballs chained together. Ah, yeah. uh, wow. Unreal. Stuff I just really floats my boat. <laughs> no pun intended. Do you think that the seagulls that are in them, the seagulls that are in them bits are orphans? Is there another cannon in here? Yeah. Oh, like, oh, like a half one. Look what that is. That looks newish. These cannons, they're just going to be here forever, aren't right? they? Yeah, yeah. There's, no to these there's no way you're going to be able to move them. Well, there's another, another, another baby there. Just think how they got yeah. these on. Ooh. See ya. You lost, go back, go home. So this bit here, this middle bit, they started build in, building this in 1850. They completed it in 1852. Then in 1859, they built the outer case. You found something? No, it's just, oh yeah, I did. But it's <laughs> nothing fault related. Oh. <laughs> They're the best bits. An egg. What? Egg. Oh yeah, an egg. Look at that hole. See, see the egg. Do we reckon there's an under bit? There's there's a bit we have it in the middle. No, we haven't. How do you get in the middle? It's going down here. It's there's, going down. There's oh more. yeah, we haven't been downstairs. Have we? Let's go downstairs. Oh, oh look at this. Oh, this is very sh weird. Do that. I don't know. Hello, Mr. Death Bird. Whoa, is this where all the bad lads hang out? <laughs> <laughs> it's a wood floor. It's got wood. It's It's but I don't think it actually goes down. It's like the, the, luckily, it's just onto dirt underneath. Yeah, look, that's one of ammo lifts in it. Oh, cool. And they're like, this is, you know when we saw those big long things back in the other fort? Yeah. It will have been for passing ammo through. Oh, right. Cause like, there's loads here, look. And that's full of water. Mmm. Lovely. Ooh, it's the stable room. I would have thought that this would lead into the the middle of it, but obviously not. This is drawn. Where did you get livestock here? This looks like a waiting room to go into this office. Welcome to my office. This is where we keep the chickens. I refuse to elaborate. Oh, I went in there. The other side of it. Oh, so we can get in now. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was coming straight for me. There was a pigeon, not a seagull. <laughs> Rogue pigeon. Whoa! Look at the floor. Is it tiled? This looks more like the kitchen. This looks like the kitchen. This looks more like the kitchen. It does. You don't think that that room that we went in before was like, could once upon a time be in the boiler room? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. It goes up there, there's that up. Mm -hmm. That must be a serving hatch. That's the toilet. <laughs> the people are just, the, that, that was the dining table and you just go, I don't want some taties. No, no, you, you put a table here and then the table would go up on a lift. No, that's the toilet. It's, it's, like, it's like Wallace and Gromit. Why don't you just drop this? Is that a, 
massive sick. <laughs> Why is it so long? It's just a, it's just a super king. Oh. How much to smoke it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you you'll pay you. I sell you for fifty p. I have no oh. idea. You know it's funny. What? This pipe I'm stood on has had World War Two poo in it. <laughs> That's <was> pretty funny. <laughs> we need to go up them stairs, don't we, to get into that other bit. So we need to go back. So this is the 1852 part of the tour. What? You what? go first, Lloyd, so you get on camera. Is there an actual chemical toilet up here? Yeah. I don't want to use it, but it's awful. Oh my god! There's even a toilet brush. And toilet roll. And a bin that looks like it's been used as the toilet. Yeah, I know, it looks like people have just been doing it in the bin. I'll... What? No. You say, I'll do you in the bin. I've said nothing of the kind of it. This has seen better days, but look, original window frame. Whoa, this place has seen better days. Oh yeah, this is probably the most destroyed, isn't it? 30 people used to work on this, including a Brigadier General. There's 30? 30. Is that right? Is that it? For the whole thing? Yeah. That seemed like a lot. There's more than 30 guns. Where do you hide to have a crafty wank when there's 30 lads on here? Unless you don't, all... that's the point. If it's all lads, it doesn't matter, it's fair game. Ah, uh, what do you mean? That... Well, it's not gay if you're at sea. Oh, is that true? Is that why most that's the, that's are gay? The, that's the Navy's motto. I don't want to sound like a complete and utter knob, but I'm prob I probably am. We've been doing urbex now for best part of 10 years and there's not a lot of stuff that I haven't seen which is unfortunate what I'm trying to say is urbex believe it or not can be very samey and it's just stuff like this there's just stuff like this that is just awesome we're heading back to land thanks again to all the patrons all the subscribers, all the viewers, all the people that buy our merch. Because without you, we can't do crazy stuff like this. As much as that sounds like a cop-out, there's no other way to say it. But thank you.